Hello everyone, Anthony from uh, Johnny's MTG here, and today we actually have something pretty cool that I picked up from my Black Friday at my LGS. A pair of pre-release kits that they still had in stock. So we're going to go ahead and crack these, and of course, though obviously this is only the second video on the channel, anyone that's watching, do remember that uh, I'm going to pick one person every video in the comments. Um, at random and they're gonna win they can pick any card that we pull out of these two and uh, Take it absolutely free. They don't even pay shipping. So uh, I guess further no further ado or however you say it. It's cracking. Let's get cracking get cracking release the cracking All right, so let's take off this lovely Wizards wrapping it actually doesn't even say wizards on the coast in these wrappings interesting uh, Slide this I actually really, really like these pre-release kits because my LGS is selling them for, they were $29.99, and, but they were buy one, get one, so they are $15 each. But even at the regular price of $30, I felt that was pretty fair because of what you get and because it's, um, they're, they're, they may be cheaper other places, but again, uh, something I want to stress is always support your LGS as long as it's within reason, as long as they're not charging a crazy amount. Um, so, if you didn't know, in a pre-release kit, you get this nifty little box that you can use to carry cards in. You get one spin down die um, of the of the guild. And if you didn't know that Ravnica has, I believe, yeah, five different guilds and they all have different names. And they have two colors. All the guilds are two colors. And um, so your dice will represent. So Demir or Dimmer, depending on how you pronounce it, is black blue. So the letter is black and the coloring is blue so you'll see that on different dice and then you also get yeah you get a nifty box and then you also get a little i don't know what you want to call that a uh poster maybe and it tells you how to build a pre-release deck which is very cool i think uh, wizards hits how to do that on the money because um I, like I said in my last video, I'm pretty new to Magic, I've been playing a couple months, and the pre-release was actually one of my first times ever playing out with a group of people that weren't my close friends. So, I was very excited that it pretty much helped me and showed me. And also, shout out to Tolarian, because Tolarian Community College is actually how I learned how to build, you know, for competitive. So let's go ahead and, let's see. So, you get five booster packs, so if these were at regular retail, you're talking about four, eight, twelve, sixty, twenty dollars. So you pay ten dollars theoretically for this little bonus pack, which this bonus pack will actually contain cards structured for your guild. So when you build for a pre-release, these cards will very much help you build a a strong foundation to uh, starting your pre-release deck. So if you paid retail for these, and there was ten dollars left over. For ten dollars, you get the box, the this a bonus pack, you get a spin down die, a random token. I have a soldier token with a code on it. Um, if anyone, if the, I don't think these codes still work for MTGA, but these codes allow you to get a pre-release kit online, or it allows you into an event online, which they're not doing anymore. So I don't think those codes work anymore. And then you also get a card divider of your guild, which I think the Demir one looks super awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and crack our bonus pack real quick. Actually, you know what? Let's save that for the last because it has the time, it has the stamp card, which I'll show you guys. It's really cool. So I hope everyone is having a good whatever day this video gets uploaded. And I hope everyone is uh, just enjoying themselves. And if you guys have any... Um, any questions, concerns, or anything about my YouTube channel or anything, or want to help me out, please leave a comment down below. Uh, I guess most YouTubers say subscribe and follow me and whatever, and you know, get to know me, and I love to get to know you as well. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the top ten cards of the uh, pile. That's all the commons. All right, and we're gonna go straight into the uncommons. We got Demotion, Conclave Cavalier. Selective Snare, and our rare is Dawn of Hope. And then a Guild Gate and an Insect Token, <clears throat> which we'll just go ahead and put with our commons. 
Oh, man. As you can tell, it's pretty hard to open packs for me because I don't know what I'm doing. But we'll go ahead. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. All right. Bulgari Raiders. Swath Cutter Giant. Rampaging Monument. Omni Spell is our rare. Adept. And a Guild Gate and a Soldier Token. And if for any reason anyone needs any of these Guild Gates or any tokens of any kind, uh, please just email me at the email uh, in the description. And I'm actually, I'll, I'll send them out to you if you need them because I have 7,000 of them and I really don't need them. So email me if you need them. I got you covered. Also, if there's any bulk commons or anything um, that I have laying around, as long as you pay the shipping, I don't mind sending it out to you. So just let me know. You know, I, I honestly don't care. <coughs> All right. We got a Boros Challenger. Conclave Guild Mage, Crushed Contraband, and our rare is a Beast Whisperer. Real cool card. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you get to draw a card. <clears throat> and it doesn't say non-token creature, so I guess that would run very well in those token decks that spawn a whole bunch. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. We have Flower and Flourish, Plague Crafter. And if you saw my last video, you know I'm terrible at pronunciation, so I'm going to get better, I swear. Goblin something. See, that's the one I. Banneret. Goblin ban Banneret. And a Mythic Rare Doom Whisperer. Oh, baby. I know someone's going to want that. Great card. Amazing card. Flying Trample, 6-6 six, six for 5. And you pay 2 life. You can surveil and you can do as many times as you want per turn as long as you have the life. That is an incredibly great grab out of this set. And it's funny because I got it out of the Demir uh, pre-release kit and it's for Demir. So look at that. All right. Let's get rid of these commons upon all right let's go right murmuring mystic Demir spybug or dimmer I want someone to tell me in the comments how it's pronounced I would love to actually know we got route and our rare swift blade vindicator still still so excited that I got another doom whisperer now we have like I got four or five of my collection love them they're so awesome all right. Still no Archlight Phoenix, though. Cannot get that card. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's in Guilds of Ravnica, but maybe it's not. Maybe I just saw it from an older set. All right. So these pre-release kits, I, I just explained a little bit at the beginning of the video about them. But the cool thing is, what, what I feel like you really pay for, is the top card is always different, but it's always hollow as well. So we got a Connive holographic. Looks super nice go ahead and just drop that over there oh and if you can see it's actually stamped a little stamp that tells you it's pre-release when you got it for the pre-release very cool and then a common and then a uncommon night veil vale predator house guild mage city watch sphinx so you do get three rares or three uncommons and a rare Okay, so yeah, so just like a regular booster pack, except one of the cards is in fact stamped. So yeah, that's it. We're going to go ahead and open the second one now. Go ahead and put this all over here. Look, I got a spot. I got this little box for all the commons. Look at You just put all your... I mean, most people I say you'd probably put your deck in here. You'd actually... You can probably even put a sleeve deck in here. I can honestly say a 60 card sleeve deck probably fit in here. Probably not your commander, but your regular 60 card sleeve deck probably fit in here and then you put your dice over here so i i think it's and it look and it closes right back up so i think that's a great buy for 30 dollars or some people get them for 25 if you look online but i say if your lgs has them pay the extra five dollars to support your lgs because without them you would have nowhere to play your friday night magic 
So, I definitely say support. To let you know, I pay a really high price for my booster boxes at my LGS because they can't, because their store is small, they don't get a lot. So they have to pay a higher price, I believe. And so that's fine um, because I'd rather support them than have no place to play. And they're really great people. They're very nice people. Um, this is the Selesnia. I really like their symbol. Um, Pre-release kit, very similar. I mean, completely similar. Sorry if the camera's really shaky. It's this table I'm recording on. I'm, I'm still trying to get a, a real nice recording uh, little thing set up. But for right now, I picked a nice outside table where it's nice and nice and calm, not too loud. Um, got cars in the background, of course. But other than that, is what it is. So as I was saying, Selesnia is white and green. So as you can see, the text is white and then the dice is actually green. So that's very cool. And if anyone would like any of these dice, I'm pretty sure I have all six of them. So if anyone wants any of these dice, um, just let me know. Message me, and as long as uh, you can pay the shipping, I'll go ahead and send it off to you. All right, another poster. We are the Celestia Conclave. Very cool, very nice. And it's the same exact thing. Five booster packs, the code. If it works, I don't think it does anything now because it's been so long. And then the divider, which is pretty cool. We gotta head. Well, let, well, let's see. We'll, we'll pray to open another mythic. But doubt we'll do it, but maybe you never know. I guess you never know. Nice and windy outside. All right. Commons. All right. We got Marshall. Another selective snare. Another status. Our rare. Quasi duplicate. Very cool card. Very useful. In the. Uh, oh, what is it that I build? The is it. Uh, is it burn deck? I copy a whole bunch of goblins. Um, gutter snipes. And then I burn them for a whole bunch of damage. Alright. Commons. Night Veil vale Sprite was our first uncommon. We Dragonauts, another uncommon. Pifling Imp. And then our rare, an Erratic Cyclops. Another really fun card to play. Uh, I played it in my pre-release, so I played Boros. Very fun to play because it's just a giant wall for 08. But if you cast a high... Um, Whenever you cast an Ancestor Sorcery, it gains X uh, to the end of turn where X is the spell's converted mana cost. So if you cast like a 5 cost, it becomes a 5-8 with Trample to the end of the turn. So, oh actually, it's, yeah, it is to the end of the turn. Okay. So yeah, very cool card, very fun to play with. And if anything, you just use it as a wall, it's a great wall because it's 8 toughness. Alright, a True Fire Captain. Flight of the Equestronauts, Sprouting, Renewal, and uh, if you watch my last video, you'll know this is my favorite card. I am new to Magic, let me say that, but my favorite card, Nismit, Niz, Niv Mizzet, Paran, but, oh, I love him. He's a Dragon Wizard. I mean, what? And then when you get him on the field, he's insane. He can't be countered. Flying. Whenever you draw a card, deal one damage to any target. And whenever you cast an instance or sorcery, you draw a card. So one of my favorite cards of that I've seen since I started playing. I'm trying to collect them all. Collect all every single Niv Mizzet. Alright. Let's get into Glaive of the Guild Pack is our first really sword of the guild pack. Is what that should say. House Guild Mage. Sun Home. Stalwart. Is, is another one of our uncommons. And our rare is Drowned Secrets. Very nice card. Um, I think from what I know it's a little too slow. But a lot of people prefer it. 
Okay, let's go with the last pack. Let's see. All right, last pack. Ladev Champion, Ladev Champion, Knight of the Mass, Glow, Glow Spore Shaman, and our rare Expansion Explosion. And we also got a Hollow Loxodon Restorer. It's only a common, but still a Hollow. It's nice. And then <clears throat> just a guild gate and an insect. Alright, now let's open our bonus pack. And our stamp card is a very cool looking one. Bounty of Might. It's got the stamp and a very cool effect. Target creature gets plus three plus three, but three separate times. So I think you can cast it on all different kind of creatures. <clears throat> I think that would can, can win you games. All right. Um, Flight of Questronauts is our uncommon. Might of the Masses. And World Soul Colossus is our last uncommon, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check. Da, 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 yes. Okay. So that is everything. So out of two pre-release kits, $30. So for $30... I got two boxes to play to hold my Magic the Gathering cards and decks. I got a pair of dice, pair of, pair of spin down dice, which are custom with the guild symbol on them, which is very cool. I forgot to mention that. Um, a whole bunch of commons, two small little stacks of commons, a, a nice little stack of uncommons. Um, Let's see how many, how many rares? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven rares and a mythic, which the mythic of course isn't guaranteed, but it was nice to get the mythic, Doom Whisperer. And one hollow Loxodon Restorer. All right, so if any of these cards are the card you would like to pick, we are giving away one card. Just leave a comment in the comment section below, tell me what card you want, and I'll be randomly selecting one person. I greatly appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks so much. MTG Anthony out.